Here's what we're making. This is a wrist mounted popsicle stick launcher. It's loaded right now. When somebody sticks their hand, grabs onto this end, it launches it. Stick your hand through. You can grab onto the waist thing, load it up with whatever, and launch. So let's get started. Now there's a different video out there somewhere where you take popsicle sticks, full popsicle stick and half popsicle sticks, connect two of those with sticks in the middle. So those are connected. Now we need to make sure that there is a launcher bit. It's gonna move like this. Put a rubber band in here to help pull it up. But we need a way for it to swivel right down here. The solution to that will be a little bit of skewer and a little bit of straw. So what we'll do is take and put a little bit of hot glue. Now the straw is what is going to attach the post the uh, the launcher and we're just going to glue that right to it. The straw will hang on to the, the skewer and it'll let the post rotate around. So there's our launcher, the most basic form of it. We'll get a rubber band connecting this part and this part. But how do you make the rest of it here? This is just a little box, a C-channel type box. They added a, a piece to hold on to their wrist on the inside and here is what we have for the mechanism. So let's make this large C shape box. Here's a piece of foam board. If I measure it, I can see that it's a little over nine inches. Well, if I'm gonna cut this up, I'm gonna mark this at three inches here, so I know I have three inches here. I will mark this at three inches, so that this and this are even. And in, in the middle here, we'll have about three more inches. This and this are both going to be three. That's all we need. To cut this, if you only cut the outside layer of cardboard or foam board or whatever you're working on, I'm going to carefully cut through just the paper top here. And the same on this side. Now I'm able to use that score, that mark, that cut, and just bend it in place all still one piece. So my hand is able to go through here. I'm gonna need something to grab onto. That is where the popsicle sticks are gonna come in. So here we go. Grabbing my board. I'm just gonna jam these down inside a little ways. This works with foam board. This might work with cardboard as well. So with these jammed down inside, I'm gonna get ready to lay one across the top. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna to wanna to attach these. So we'll put some hot glue inside of there and put it back in. Hot glue will definitely be able to have something to grab onto inside of all this. It's a nice clean look being on the inside. Now I'm gonna lay this across the top, glue it in place. In my case I want to make it extra strong so I'm going to actually glue a second popsicle stick almost halfway down. This will help make everything a little more rigid. Now we can see on the original here that there needs to be a piece that extends in front of the grip. That is going to be what you pull on with your hand to make it collapse. So let's get all of this made next. So now to do this, what I have are two really long skewers that are gonna extend all the way from the front, all the way back behind the thing. And we need them to slide back and forth. And to give them something to slide in, let's use a bit of straw. So taking my straw, I'll cut it into four pieces. And I'm gonna need to put those straw pieces near the front and near the back where it's going to slide. I don't want to put it all the way on the back. I want to put it kind of in a little way because this thing has to be able to move after I'm done. I'm going to be careful. I'm going to only try to get glue on the straw and not on the skewer underneath. So here's some glue on this bit of straw going out on the end. I didn't get any glue on this skewer here so this thing can still move freely. Here comes the same thing on the other side. Now that this is made, the next step is going to be to take these two skewers and get them to move together. We're going to connect them with a bar here and I'm going to show you how to make that a little extra strong. So to start off with, let's find a piece of material that can go from one end all the way to the other. I'm going to use this piece of cardboard. Right, so I've stabbed my skewers into my cardboard. Now I can see where I should put the hot glue and stab them back in. So here's what we have so far. We have the thing that my hand will go in and around, my fingers will pull, and these two things will slide. What we need next 
is what will release, what will move that up and around and release the catapult. We've tried a few different ways to do it. We can start off with what seems the most obvious, which would be just a little jun junction here, but that's going to be very, very weak. It's going to be very easy to break that. Let me show you how to make it and then make it stronger. So to start things off, we're going to start with a little piece of material. In this case, I'm going to put a little triangle right here because we're going to go this way with the next skewer. But you got to make sure that your handle on this side isn't all the way closed. Make sure it's open at least a little bit of a ways. And I should have kept more space here. Maybe I'll open that up. Mistakes like that happen all the time. So here we go. I've opened it up about a finger width. I can put my piece of triangle underneath here. I'm also going to hot glue this piece on. And while I am working over here, I'm going to go ahead and add a top little gusset piece. That is what it looks like glued on top. So now when I pull it pull back, that whole setup moves. This is just the kind of trick you learn putting together engineer projects. So this will, will push a little bit harder, but you can see that I can still make it move a little bit. It still flexes a bit. The best way to stiffen it up even more will be to add a large triangle from here all the way to here. I'm even putting glue on top and adding another little piece of this material on top. This will hold it really strongly. And now we have a much stronger trigger mechanism. My hand will come over here, it'll pull on this side, and it can push really hard over here where my other finger is. Let me flip it over, do the same thing. So here it is with the trigger mechanism mostly built. I left these two pieces nice and long and it's a good thing I did. These don't quite line up with each other but it's okay because I'll just cut these to the right length and it will be close enough for what we're trying to do here. Pin snips are great at cutting skewers like this. A really big pair of scissors will do it too though. Then we simply need to go across the two setups that we have there. I am going to go underneath the skewer here because that trap is going to be pulling up really hard and we want to be, make sure that it can push it down. So I'm going to glue this stick. If you want to, you could also put more, more supports like this. But you can use cardboard. You could even use card stock heavy paper. The reason it works so well is because there is lots of space for the wood and the paper or the fridge magnet in this case to connect and it's it's much stronger now that it's put together this way. I can put a lot more glue so there's just a lot more holding it all together. Now here it is 90 percent put together. All I need to do is get the launcher inside of there. Here is the piece we had from before. You can see how the straw down in the bottom here. You don't want to get too strong of a rubber band. Easiest way to install a rubber band in this case is to just go over the whole mechanism. Come down below, come below, go over that arm, tighten it up by moving it to the sides. You don't want a very strong rubber band in this case because a very strong rubber band is going to be pulling up really hard right there. We're going to take a look at where our back and forth motion is. You don't want it to be very far off or too far back. Now in this case, to give something to grab onto, to hold it down, we're just gonna go ahead and glue two little tabs sticking off the back of the, the scoop here. Now let's give it a trial run. Have it pulled back, advance it over those two pieces, load it up with whatever you're gonna launch. Stick your hand in. As I pull back, there it goes. Hey, have fun with it. You're learning how to do cool, creative things, and have a great rest of your day.